Greetings citizens and welcome back to the Hidden Dagger Inn. My name is Peon and today as Alpha 2 sales get ready to open up, I wanted to give you some reasons on why you should not buy Alpha 2. So without further ado, let's begin. Many people across Vera have expressed disappointment not only with the phases of Alpha 2 not being persistent from the start, but also with the perceived high cost of the packages. Despite this, Alpha 2 sales will still be available as of August 21st. So as of today, if you decide to purchase, you can purchase all three phases for $120. Now they, go, they went ahead and are giving you $15 worth of embers and also one free sub month. That option is available until November 1st or until supplies last. If you're interested in any of the packages, the first one for $120 is probably your best bang for the buck because you can step away at any time. And let's face it, guys, this is going to be quite a long process. Now, however, before you make that decision, I'm going to give you five reasons that you should not buy Alpha 2. Gone are the days when companies develop titles under the radar and allowing a select few to test their game before announcing that they had gone gold and shipped it out to the world. Today's gaming industry, for better or worse, has shifted towards an early access model for at least the last 15 years or so, allowing players to get in early while funding development and providing community feedback. Reason 1. Ashes of Creation is not early access, guys. Ashes of Creation is not considered early access in traditional platforms like Steam. Instead, it's currently in its alpha testing phase, which is part of the development process leading up to a full release. The game is still being developed in these phases. Alpha testing, which included Alpha 1 already in the upcoming Alpha 2, where the players were often invited to test the game's core, provide feedback, and help identify the bugs. These alpha tests are not representative of the final product focused on development and iteration. Early access typically refers to a more developed game that is released to the public with the expectation of continued development. In contrast, Ashes of Creation is still in testing phases and access primarily for those who are actively helping to test and shape the game's development. Reason 2. The cost is very high for limited content. At $120, purchasing Alpha 2 access comes with a very hefty price tag. While the cost supports the ongoing development of the game, which is very expensive to keep these servers up and running, it might not be justifiable for the average player, especially considering the limited content during these phases. And let's not forget that the game worlds are going to be incomplete. Many features are going to be missing or only partially implemented. If you're looking to get your money's worth in terms of content and gameplay, it might be wiser to just save your funds and invest in something more affordable while waiting for Ashes of Creation to continue development. Reason 3. Potential Spoilers and Loss of the Mystery Even though Alpha 2 will be streamed NDA free, there is a big difference between being in the world yourself and watching someone else play it. One of the most thrilling aspects of MMORPG is the sense of discovery and adventure in a new unexplored world. By participating in Alpha 2, you'll be exposed to much of the game's content long before the official release. This can spoil the experience, and you'll already be familiar with quests and locations and mechanics of the world bosses that would otherwise be exciting to discover for the first time in a finished game. If preserving the mystery of the game world is important to you, avoiding Alpha 2 might be the best choice. Reason 4. The game's vision could change. Now, it's not likely that the core pillars are going to change, but game development overall is an evolving process, and what's presented in Alpha 2 may differ significantly from the final release. Features might be reworked, or removed, or added based on player feedback and internal decisions. If you buy into Alpha 2, there's a risk that these aspects you might enjoy could be changed or removed entirely by the time it launches. It's important to remember that you're investing in an unfinished product, and the final version might not align with your expectations. Reason 5. Risk of Burnout Now this is a real big one, guys. Engaging with a game in its early, unfinished stages can lead to burnout. 
By the time Ashes of Creation fully launches, and who knows when that's going to be, you may find yourself less excited or even tired of the game due to overexposure during the alpha phase. This is a common issue for players who spend significant time in testing phases. One I have personally battled with in previous games myself. As players experience the game with less than optimal state, it can dull the excitement of the final product. Releveling a character from level 1, whether it's due to a wipe or just trying a new class, can wear on you after a while. And here's another reason, a psychological reason. If you're one of those people who might suspect this game could be a scam, there are psychological effects to consider from not fully believing in something before testing it out. Cognitive dissonance, confirmation bias, and sunk cost fallacy can all come into play. So if you're not fully on board, I implore you to just watch it on Twitch as it's streamed NDA free, or simply avoid it altogether until it releases. At that point, there will be no box cost and just $15 a month sub fee to see if Vera is your new home. Steven has tried to prepare us time and time again along with Margaret saying that the game is a true alpha. Not to expect to jump into it and have a fully fleshed game. We are here to test it. While the prospect of jumping into Ashes of Creation during its Alpha 2 phase is tempting, it's important to consider the realities of participating in a game's development process. If you're not prepared for the potential downsides such as bugs, limited content, burnout, spoilers, and potential changes in the game's vision, it might be better off just to wait until the full release. By doing so, you'll experience the game in its best possible form, ensuring that your journey through Vera will be epic and fulfilling as you've always imagined. So don't fall for the FOMO, guys. Go ahead and just watch it on the Twitch streams at first, and if you feel like it's got enough in there for you at the moment and it's something you want to try, then go ahead and pull the trigger. But if not, just wait until you feel it is in a position that you're ready to try it, or just wait until launch. Now leave your comments below if you think you might wait for a release, or if you think you're going to fully invest yourself into testing. Whatever you decide, consider yourself warned not only from me, but all the other content creators and Stephen and Margaret about what you're getting into. If you enjoyed the takes on this, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button, and make sure you catch me out on my Twitch stream at the Hidden Dagger Inn on Twitch. Have a great day, Avera. Thanks for watching. Work complete.